Ghostbusters, directed by Paul Feig, starring Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, and Kristen Wiig. And let me tell you guys, this is a special treat for you. Okay, before I go in to the Ghostbusters movie review, I just wanted to let you know that this movie, I thought it was going to suck because of the trailers. Not because they are all four women as the Ghostbusters. I freaking love all the girls on there. I honestly thought Leslie Jones and Kate McKenna were going to suck in it. But surprisingly, I'll tell you, I'll get more in depth about that. Um, yeah. So just don't think I was going to hate this movie because it was women. I was going to hate this movie because of the trailers. Okay? Glad I cleared that out. Now let's get into this review of Ghostbusters. First off, standouts. Kate McKinnon from SNL. Leslie Jones from SNL. Surprisingly, they're both from SNL, and what do you know? They were the best part of the film. If I had to choose one, Leslie Jones. Just because of all her quirky freaking comebacks, whenever somebody was back talking to her, or whenever she was going to find a ghost, she would just say something crazy. She'd be like, looking in a room, be like, uh-uh, I ain't gonna die today. Nope, nope, going the other way. Heck no, I ain't doing that. That's my Leslie Jones impression. I'm sorry if that offended you, Leslie. I'm sorry. And Kate McKinnon, man. It's either you love her or you hate her. There's so many people saying she is either too cartoony, she is in this entirely different film, while the other people are in the same film. I thought she was hilarious because she was different. She was weird. She was Kate McKinnon from SNL, and that's what I wanted, honestly. Yeah, could have stretched her acting a little bit because this was her first major movie. I'm assuming so, but... Yeah, I can see why some people could hate her, but that's just their type of flavor for comedy. My type is Kate McKinnon being Kate McKinnon, and I loved her doing it, and I thought she did a great job with Leslie Jones, and their chemistry was phenomenal. Okay, let's move on now. Another positive for this film is Chris Hemsworth. I didn't think he could ever reach over Thor, and I may be, I may be crazy right now, but... Kevin and Thor. Kevin's the name of his character. They are this close to each other. I might give a little leeway for Kevin because he was just so stupid and funny. He's quite literally possibly the stupidest guy character in the entire film industry. And Chris Hemsworth, you blew my mind. On to the next one. The Ghosts. <sighs> the CGI looked crap in the trailers, but for some reason it looks so much better in the film. I really want to see this in 3D because I thought people were lying. I could actually see it just, be, just by seeing it in 2D. I could see the possibilities of the streams when they're shooting it at the ghost or the ghost coming out. I can possibly even just see it coming out of the screen. And I just saw it in 2D. And that's amazing for film. That's even better 3D supposedly than Batman vs Superman. Not as Avatar, not Avatar. But that's insane. And Whoever created the ghost and whoever did the music, whenever the ghosts were coming on, it was creepy. I was actually creeped out in a comedy film, and I didn't think that was going to happen. So, kudos to whoever is the editor for the ghost, and kudos to the score, and my goodness, it's creepy. Last positive for Ghostbusters is the chemistry between all the ladies. It was phenomenally, amazingly funny, and creative, and I loved it. I loved the writing for each of the characters. There were some hit or misses in the areas. Yes, there was, but that was the writing. Everyone else just carried it and carried it and went along with it. I'm wondering how much ad lib went into this film because it was awesome. Okay, now on to my negatives. I'm gonna combine these two negatives, the third act and the villain. The villain was beyond terrible. I hated this villain. I'm not gonna spoil whoever it is, you're gonna see him in the first 20 minutes, you know what, I don't even care, you're gonna see him in the first 20 minutes or whatever. There's literally no point to his character, he's just a loser who, who hates everyone, who wants to kill everyone with a bunch of ghosts, and yeah, I don't care if I just, honestly, the villain was wasted. They could have done something else, I could have written a better film. I'd rather bring back Zool into this film and just let it be a really a remake of the original 1984 version because this villain was terrible and also the third act yeah it has to do with the villain because it was just stupid it was stupid Chris Hemsworth made it better in the ending so thank God for that but literally I could do so much better than that I could have dealt with so much better in the third act that's my only issue there are enjoyable moments in the third act that's the thing they are enjoyable but it's not enough for a great solid ending so that's a little bit disappointing and sad for this film <sighs> and the last negative <sighs> was the cameos beyond 
beyond terrible. All I'll tell you is this. And I found this out. Dan Aykroyd is the executive producer of this film, the original Ghostbuster, and he had by far the worst cameo, worst line I've ever seen in a film that was trying to respect an original film. By far terrible. If he wrote that, what the heck, man? If somebody else wrote that, I don't care who it is, why'd you do that? You almost kind of ruined the original in a way for me. Yeah, I'm kind of going over the edge with that, but literally one line or one little scene can make you not like a certain character, even if you go back and watch it. I'm just letting you guys know, please, if you want to do a good cameo, do it right with the writing and the acting. It was just beyond terrible. And Bill Murray, don't even get me started on Bill Murray. What the heck? It was so disrespectful. It was so disrespectful. It... <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay. My final score for Ghostbusters is a solid 7.5. So the movie was actually pretty good. It was just sadly drooped down by the third act and the villain and some choices with the writing that I honestly didn't support and the cameos. But overall, the ghosts, the women, the funny lines, it lifted it up for me to give it enough for a solid, solid review. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, of course, don't forget to be blessed.